What is up, Alien Army? I am Oculus, the alien next door, purveyor of esoteric lore. And on this channel, we discuss everything out of this world. So today's topic, we are going to be talking a little bit about death. I do have another video called Vacating the Vessel. This discusses what happens when someone vacates the vessel. When we come into this physical vessel, we have a birth date and we have a death date. No one ever really dies, it's just that the physical vehicle gets discarded. Every soul that enters a physical vehicle chooses a birth date and they choose a death date. They choose the circumstances surrounding their birth and they choose the circumstances surrounding their motherfucking death. Is death scary? Absolutely the fuck not. There is a contract when you enter the 3D Earth Matrix. choose the avatar, you choose the circumstances that are going to go on in your experience. Of course, at any point, you can veer from the path. One can see the magic in entering the vehicle, as well as exiting the vehicle, and realize that it's nothing to be afraid of. It's merely just a transition from a focal point of consciousness. You can choose to come back, you can choose to enter another matrix. If your third eye is open, you are going to be able to know the circumstances of your death. The time of your birth, the date of your birth, who was around you during the time of your birth, as well as the circumstances of how you entered the vehicle. Right now, there is something about your birth date, your birth circumstances that is magical and synchronistic and has meaning in your life right now. You will have an aha moment. You did choose the circumstances of your birth. And because you did choose the circumstances of your birth, you're going to realize that you as well choose the circumstances of your death. You look at yourself now and at the life that you have lived so far in the 3D Earth Matrix and you're like, that shit is kind of fucking magical now that I think about it. And you will think it's magical. So the details surrounding my birth, the, the physical details, uh, the date of birth, the time, the circumstances, everything, it worked out for my betterment. So I can sit here now at this point and be like, you know what, y'all? You're going to find some significant things in your birth date that is going to help you understand more about the death date. You might be wondering, if someone had a traumatic birth, why would they choose that? When one chooses, one is not ever going to choose something that they cannot handle. Someone might have birth circumstances that another individual might look at like, wow, how did you get through that? And the individual that went through those birth circumstances are like, what do you mean? They might have found some sort of awakening or some sort of key to determine what their own life experience was going to be like through their birth circumstance. Just because individual A chooses something, it doesn't mean that that is right for individual B. This is because every soul is unique and knows what the physical vessel and persona can handle in the 3D Earth Matrix. 
you'll see how it magically worked in your favor, whereas someone else is perceiving your situation in a different way. That is not their story. That is not what their soul chose for the persona of their avatar because the soul knew that the persona of that avatar didn't want to have that experience or wouldn't be able to handle that experience or whatever the case may be. It's important to keep in mind that if you're looking at someone else's circumstances as dire or dramatic or traumatic, know that they chose that for them because they would be able to handle that. That's why you are looking at it in a way where, oh, how did you get through that? It's because you weren't meant to experience that and your soul knew that, which is why you experienced something else that maybe another soul knew that the persona of their vessel would not want to go through or would not want to experience or would not be able to handle. So the circumstances of your birth are different, meant to suit you. The circumstances of your death are different from everyone else, meant to suit you. There's like a mass death, right? And a whole bunch of individuals experience death in the same manner, but each of them chose that specifically for whatever reason they did. pop culture example of Steve Irwin I think the circumstances of his death he was taken out by a stingray this is how the story goes I wasn't there I didn't witness anything but this is how the story goes and this is just one example one could say that stereotypical cliche saying he went out doing what he loved right it was a stingray and that's what happened I would think and I'm not speaking for anyone that that individual chose that because that was something that this person loved doing Like I said in the beginning, trauma to individual A might not be trauma to individual B. So just because you perceive something as traumatic or dramatic or whatever, doesn't mean someone else does. Because I'm sure a lot of you are sitting there thinking, hell no, I ain't swimming with no motherfucking sting, right? Right? Because your soul knew that your physical vessel and your persona did not want to experience that. That's why seeing that or hearing that story about the, the death by stingray, you might be like, whoa, hell no. But for him, that's what he was doing. So that was his path as the story go if you look at it from a higher perspective that would fit the cliche saying of someone who died doing something that they love in my own personal experience I knew somebody and they would joke around joke around constantly joke about it like they would just talk about the circumstances of their death to a T and this was going on for a number of years lo and behold guess what how did this individual die how did this individual vacate their vessel how did they pass away the exact exact I mean I mean to a T to a T spelled out to a T boom that's how they went out I remember when this occurred, I was like, they kept saying it over and over and over again. Boom. And that's exactly how they went out. Everyone is an individual. Everyone is different. And everyone chooses something that they can handle. Are these individuals predicting their own death? Are they manifesting? Or are they picking up on what their soul already knew? The soul chooses the main circumstances of how someone is going to pass away and the soul knows what the persona can handle. You're already aware on a psychic sense of the circumstances of how you're going to go out. You, you already kind of know that. The soul knows that there is no death. It's just vacating the vessel. At the moment that you vacate the physical vessel, it's very, very peaceful. With death, the only thing that makes it taboo, vacating the vessel, discarding the physical vehicle, is the egoistic third dimensional perception. They will know and be guided to almost hypnotic suggestively to the circumstances of their death and they'll keep participating in it, but they're not going to sense any type of fear. 
the question is is someone manifesting their own death or are they being guided to it from a higher perspective not in a state of fear but in a state of weird type of morbid acceptance right joking about it in a satirical fashion or continuing to participate in the activity that they know they might eventually vacate the vessel through that means If you're spiritually inclined, you're going to know the circumstances of your death at some point or another. You can actually pinpoint down to the exact day, the hour. The soul is always guiding even when someone is not spiritually inclined because everyone has a soul. Not everyone realizes it. They don't wake up inside the dream of the third dimensional earth matrix illusion, so to speak. dies from a way that they had always feared is someone who is likely on a third dimensional egoistic perspective this is someone who has not awakened inside the dream so when someone is awake inside the dream they fear nothing including a mode of death it's a fact everyone who is in a physical vehicle right now is going to vacate their physical vehicle if you were born you're going to die that is a fact yes death is natural and it's just simply a part of life you could choose to enter the 3d earth matrix again or you could enter another matrix or you don't have to enter another physical vehicle The moment of death, it's not something to be afraid of. Let's say someone who's psychically open knows the exact date, time, circumstances of their, their death date. Are they going to live it to the fullest before then? Or are they going to try to avoid that? Someone who is afraid of dying is not fully living. The 3D Earth Matrix keeps someone ensnared in the box of saying all of this is real when this physical tangible reality is an illusion. It's a hologram. Are they going to live life to the fullest because they've already accepted that at a certain point the fucking show is over, right? Like you're going to fucking vacate the vessels and say game over and you're going to be elsewhere in your consciousness. You're not going to be focused here anymore. Typically, someone is already being guided there. They're already being guided towards their death because as soon as you enter the physical vessel, the whole 3D Earth Matrix, it's trying to kill you. So think about this, right? If you defeat the game and if you've lived successfully and you've mastered all the levels, even if you know the exact hour and circumstances of your appointed death that your soul already chose, you know that it's nothing to be afraid of because you were being guided there the whole time. Because your consciousness, when your soul was uploaded into the vessel, it knew that it was it knew that it was gonna upload outside of the vessel, but it was going to upload back into the cloud of consciousness but it took in all of the programs or you can think of all of the apps that you've mastered that you've learned how to use your soul is taking that in everything that you've mastered in the 3d earth matrix and then it's going to bring all of that with you when you vacate the vessel When, when you can accept death and that there is no time, that there really is no death, when you can just accept that at some point you are going to vacate your fucking humanoid vessel, that is when you start living as a god. The more in tune you become with yourself, the more you realize that this whole reality is but a dream, the more you are going to not fear the time you have on earth and you're not going to fear death. And that is the elevation to God consciousness. And when you do not fear death, that is when you truly become alive. You've elevated to God consciousness, so now you don't fear dying. Now the Earth Matrix ain't gonna try to kill you. 
at the appointed moment of death, motherfuckers go out the way that they choose. It might seem dramatic or traumatic or scary to motherfucker A, but to motherfucker B who chose that, that's what they chose. And unless you're walking in their shoes, you're not going to ever know why they chose that or the reasons behind that they chose that. But it's only when you think about death that the matrix stops killing you. Because now you're not living in this little box of the avatar, fearing time and fearing death. Like how much time do you have left? Or, oh, I don't want to try that because XYZ might happen or ABC might happen. No, you live in the moment and you live in joy. And you're able to joke about things. You're able to enjoy the things that you actually love doing without the fear of any repercussions. Remember I talked about upload and download? So all the apps that you've mastered in this video game software, you now take that with you when you vacate the vessel. You are going to look back at your life experience and you, from a God perspective, who doesn't fear time or death because you know that they're both illusions and they only exist for third dimensional purposes, you're going to be like, yo, I fucking had a great time there in the fucking Matrix, right? And maybe that's why motherfuckers choose to keep incarnating into the Matrix, right? Oh, I had a good time having these physical tangible sensations. In the 3D Earth Matrix, the more incarnations you have, the more you're like an old soul, the easier your life becomes if you choose to incarnate into the Earth Matrix again because you've accrued all the knowledge from past lifetimes, all the apps, you've mastered the apps, so now it's like you, you can understand certain things better, so you breeze through things which in a previous lifetime you might have found more challenging. Motherfuckers sitting there, I know someone is, they're like, well, what if someone commits suicide? And no, I'm not going to say that whole unalive bullshit because we're not in nursery school. The word suicide is stifled and trying to be repressed by big brother, big tech, pick one. So why is it considered taboo to say suicide? It happens. I'm not speaking for any souls that commit suicide. I'm not speaking for them, but yes, they too, in a way, whatever their reason is, yes, they did choose that as well. So their soul knew that they were going to vacate the vessel via their own hand. Now the reason behind it obviously is different for everyone, but yes, the soul knew that as well. Vacating the vessel is not scary when you are living life to the fullest, knowing that, yes, the Earth Matrix was trying to kill you until the moment that you did not fear death or time, and now you're very alive. So you can have these type of ninja moves throughout circumstances in your physical realm experience. you still want to live more in the 3D Earth Matrix, there's not going to be anything that is going to stop you because you choose. You choose when you want to live and you choose when you want to die. Someone needs to hear this. No one commits suicide because of anyone other than them. So I've heard like someone will maybe threaten the, the idea of them killing themselves, committing suicide to like have a sort of manipulation on another individual. So so they're, they're trying to say that they'll kill themselves if this individual doesn't do X, Y, or Z. No, the only reason someone commits suicide is because of them. That is the only reason. It is not ever because of the outer, because remember everyone is a soul, even though not everyone remembers it. It's always something that's going on internally and they're just looking at the external. They're putting so much focus on the external they are living in such a place of lack and fear and isolation and whatever type of emotions that would uh, draw someone to the conclusion that suicide is the only answer it is never because of someone else it is never because of an outer circumstance now everyone's reason why they commit suicide is different. It's always for them and it's specific to them. It is never about anyone else. And I feel like someone needed to know that. So that was for you. I don't, I don't know who you are, but there you go. 
So some of you might be asking, what if someone had a long suffering illness? Like why would anyone choose to suffer? Guess what? If you don't understand why anyone would choose to suffer, it could have been maybe that's what their soul wanted or it could have been maybe that wasn't suffering for them. Maybe that was the best choice to them. Remember, you are not them. If you or if anyone judges someone else's circumstances of death, it all comes back to you. If you're choosing to judge someone's choice of death, why are you doing that? You ought to take a look at yourself and realize that just because something might not work for you, that you're like, whoa, why would anyone choose that? It doesn't mean that that's why they chose what they chose. Everyone is different. So just like you chose the circumstances of your birth, which you now know, because <laughs> I taught you in this video how to look for synchronicities, you'll see the magic in it all. Even if there's some cray cray story going on, um, your circumstances of your birth, and you'll be like, okay, I chose that. Maybe someone else wouldn't have, but I chose that. So you're able to see it from a grander perspective that even if someone, let's say, they have like a long drawn out type of thing where it seems like they suffered or it seems like something max or horrific happened they still chose that on a level yes even murder that's a whole other topic and I'm not I'm not endorsing or condoning murder either I'm absolutely not doing that but yes souls someone who was murdered and their murderer yes that is what was chosen okay or a murder suicide situation that was all chosen and it might not be easy for you know, a loved one to accept that yes they did choose that but when they transition when their consciousness is no longer in the, the scope of the 3d realm they understand why they chose that okay even if they didn't understand that during their time in the 3d earth matrix their soul as soon as they vacated all of their consciousness from that vessel I promise you they know why they chose that even those occur for circumstances and reasons that you might not be allowing to accept from your vantage point because maybe your soul, like I said, knew that you wouldn't want to accept that. So that's why you don't need to concern yourself with a murder or a suicide or like anything that, that you knew that you couldn't handle. But you're not ever going to be given anything that you're not able to handle. I promise you that. Even mode of death. The more you live in the moment, the less you live in fear, no constraint of time, just knowing that everything is appointed perfectly, but it's your fear of the ego matrix illusion that is keeping you inhibited, keeping you stuck from doing what you want to do. And then when you're truly alive as a God, you fear no death, you fear no thing that the earth matrix could potentially bring to you because you know your soul is always guiding you. And the more you are in tune and in touch with your soul, the more magical and beautiful and bountiful your 3D earth matrix experience it. So that is what I have for you today. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful stroll. I am Oculus, the alien next door, purveyor of esoteric lore. We will chit chat again soon.